In case you're not aware, there's a four-cylinder Camaro, relatively new, that is turbocharged. This is a TDO4 turbo, I think it's TDO4L, so we're going to upgrade the turbine shaft. I had to make a fixture so that I can grab it here over on this chuck and machine the front of it out. You could do this on a mill on the, see it's got this angle here with a, another special fixture I have, but I don't have as much experience with that, but I'll show you how you could do it on the mill. Since I do have the tools to do it on the mill, I just don't have the skill set right now. To do this thing, I had to first make this plate, and then I had to take a piece of steel round, drill a hole in the back of it, face the front, and then put it up against this as symmetrical as possible using our center there. So I just moved the tail stock back until it meets up here, and then when I feel like it's close enough, I go and weld it on. So I did a weave bead on it. This angle is, you know, since I bolted it to it and machined it down, this is perfectly symmetrical where I should be able to put this over here on the chuck as long as it's sur machined surface for this diameter. You should be able to mount it here and it should be all in symmetry. If it's not in symmetry, I can adjust this plate here, move it side to side to get the alignment that I need. However, I'm not going to be able to adjust anything with the uh, slant here. But I'll show you something that will allow you to machine this turbine housing and not have to make this fixture. Here's how close to the symmetry this is mounted. So here's the turbine housing. You can see how it's got that angle on there. If we want to be able to machine a part with an angle, you could use this table right here and put it, you mount this to the mill. See on the side, you could bolt that to the mill, the table on the mill, and then you could take this handle and you adjust the angle that you need. This right here is very poor quality, this handle. The rest of the table seems to be pretty good. See, right here you can adjust the degrees. You can go down. You can go back up. It's like this BMW turbine housing. Can mount it right here. So see we need to make this point straight up. And I need to put this off the end of the table, that that piece, because it gets in the way. So if I want to make this symmetrical, we're gonna to have to lean it back that way. So we'll crank it. So I need to go even more. I think it's about 30 degrees. We're at about 15 or 16. Let's go down to 30. more than that but you can see my point here of how to do this job it works the same with that Camaro turbine housing that angled plate fixture can mount directly to this table then you could use the mill to put your tools in there be able to 
do a circular interpolation to bore out the inducer and then you're going to have to cut for the radius so you could have a special radius tool made for that or you could use a ball and mill if it'll fit in there which you'd have to use the CAD software to be able to do the radius part.